Would you welcome Florence as she comes up here? Thank you. This is for you? Here, come on, join me. I'm so happy you're here. Oh, man, this is fun. This is my sister from another place. So <laughs> tell everybody how, how we know each other. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Cook. Thank you, church, for having me. I remember in 2005, that's when I met Pastor Cook. Mm -hmm. He came to Uganda with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> My dad is now is now her dad. Uh, I was really grateful to see uh, this humble man of God, and really how he was touched, uh, seeing what we were doing in Uganda, and I was worried when we went to the bush. You remember? Yeah. Driving with dad and. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did well. Yes, he did well, but I was worried, thinking that you are going to fear the bush, even the roads were not good as this end. So yeah. I was a bit worried, but you made it. <laughs> He's tough. That's good. Yeah, we did some uh, pastor training and some conferences out in the bush, and so they were worried that the, uh, the wimpy Americans couldn't make it, but we did well, yeah. right? So we just had Mother's Day last weekend here. Do you have Mother's Day in Uganda? Oh, yes. Every day is Mother's Day in Uganda. Yeah, but again, no. May. Yeah, May. <laughs> and, but I was, I was thinking about this because uh, I, I, I put um, something on, on, uh, on Instagram about you being here, and I think it was your son who called you the mother of nations. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> and, and I was thinking, like, how many people call you mom? How many is it? Tell them. Oh. I have many, but I have five biological and 18 adopted kids. 18 adopted? Mm -hmm. Wow, that went up. And out of, <laughs> out of 18, 12 are married. Mm -hmm. So I received messages uh, saying, Mom, because of you, if it wasn't you, I'm proud of you. Um, who I am because of you, so it was really fun, and I was really humbled to see that out of me, I can get people who really appreciate. Yeah, and how many of the kids at the school call you mom? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how many kids are even in the school? Like about. at primary, we have 894 kids. And high school, we, were, we have 878 kids. And even the teachers and the support staff, support staff are those ones who clean. And we have dumb mothers, dumb fathers. Because these kids have, to have that sense of like, oh, parental care. All those call me mom. Yeah, so maybe yeah. 2,000 people. Yeah, but again, out of those 2,000, I can see them call me Jaja. Jaja means grand. Mm. Whether you are grandpa or grandma, mm -hmm. that is a name, Jaja. So many times when I was like going to my office, I hear Jaja, Mama, Jaja. <laughs> so there are many. <laughs> it means I have many grandkids. In fact, I, I don't know even the number. Mm. The Lord has blessed me indeed. So, yes. So, uh, my friend, uh, Bethel, your husband, went to be with Jesus when? When was um, that? He went to be with Jesus on October 19th, 20th, 2015. Mm -hmm. And it was a blessing to see him go to meet the Lord. And I was really encouraging him. And also, uh, I said, if I faint on this day, my strength will be small. Mm. So I had to put on strength in order to encourage him because I knew that he's going. And I was encouraging him, see Jesus. Look at Jesus, the one we have been serving in like in good and bad times. We have been serving him. Look at him. Look at him. 
So by doing so, the Holy Spirit reminded me of the song he composed. That Lord, you are the king who reigns. You are the Lord of all. So I started singing that song to him, and he could help. Oh, oh. Then I knew that even though he's not, you know, he can't speak, he's seeing the Lord. And I really felt good, and also commanding that if there are any angel of death, evil spirits, you have no hold. Let the man go and meet his savior, the one he so it was really, it was really, it was a great day, wow. 19th. And then that's when I requested the doctors, because he was at home, I requested the doctors that, you know what, because Dongo has been serving and the government of Uganda knows him, it would be not good for him to sleep at his house. Let's take him to the hospital so that we get the death certificate. So I was really blood speaking that because it was like, it is strange to tell people that, that let's go and get the death certificate because it means much. If you don't have the death certificate, it means that uh, you cannot fulfill what the deceased was doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So we... This was a big shock to many of us who were your friends, mm -hmm. um, and it was amazing to see uh, your faith and his faith in the middle of that, and we were worried about the ministry, and so I remember having conversations with people saying, what's going to happen mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. and then look what God has done with you and your kids mm -hmm. to lead the ministry into new places yes. and to grow it, and it's thriving. Mm -hmm. And so we are so thankful for you and all that God is doing. He's Have you been surprised how God has used you? Oh, many times I talk to myself that who am I? And even my kids, because those ones speaking, they are biological kids. Mm -hmm. Those were her um, kids in the video. Mm -hmm. They are biological. And many times when we meet, we meet every Tuesday for prayers as a family, Dongo family and also to share what the Lord is telling each one of us, uh, the way forward, how we can handle these kids, the beautiful kids the Lord has entrusted with us. So it is really, um, I get surprised because one day I heard people say that as if Dongo is still alive, <laughs> the way things are going on, yeah. and <laughs> they think that I have, you know, much strength, but because of that, they thought that I'm really strong. But you know what? Um, I could at least go to the restroom and cry and cry so that I release the grief. Mm. But again, to these ones that ha the Lord has given me, I showed myself strong. I did not allow grief to control me because mm. I had work to do. A lot of work to do. A lot of work. One of the things that impressed me about being at God Care School and at the high school was not just that you would care for kids and have a good school, but the dream is to have the best school and to raise the next generation of leaders and Christian leaders for a nation. So that is inspiring. It's incredible. If you get a chance, you got to go check this place out. This is some legit ministry happening, and the kids are incredible, absolutely incredible. So how can we, as Caneo Church, how can people who are going to watch this video later or watch another live stream, how can we support the ministry? Thank you. It is a good question. But before I go to that question, I want to thank the Lord uh, for every sponsor and donor because we have more than... 235 kids, they have already graduated, they are working, some of them come back to help, like as teachers, we have uh, medical personnel and also social workers, and I'm so proud that one of the kids whom was brought by my son Israel, 
he was maybe three years old, Amos, and his grandmother thought that Amos is going to die because his parents, mom and dad, died of HIV positive. So when he came to be with us, it's like he was very tiny. And inside, you could feel that maybe any time we are going to lose Amos. But you know what? October, in October, on October 13th, he's going to marry a beautiful lady. <laughs> and, and on top of that, he's a lab technician. Oh, wow. So I don't need to pay money in order to be... <laughs> You have free labs forever. No, he just tells me, Mom, come and, Mom, I have come to see your le sugar levels. What? You know, he can do that at home. And those <laughs> are the fruits I'm enjoying in this ministry. So, as the church here, my sisters and brothers, uh, our first important need is your prayers. Because prayer is power. Prayer can soften things. And also, secondly, uh, I request, I'm not commanding, but I'm requesting. <laughs> <laughs> you can to, strongly request. To help us with the sponsorship because the need is still going. Like, I can see this need of helping the Uganda child. Uh, it spreads every day. Talk about COVID-19. COVID-19 mm -hmm. COVID swept again. Like those kids who had grants or parents, they became orphans. So the need is there. Mm -hmm. We request for more sponsors, mm -hmm. if possible. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah. So our goal... And there's a, there's a table outside for Bayamba, uh, is to have 20 kids sponsored today. That's our goal that we brought before the Lord. And is it $40 a month to sponsor a child? Yes. Is that right? $40 for tuition. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we can, you can see one child, one in two. Mm -hmm. It means that he needs also residence, $40 for residence. Because they are those kids who come from very far. And they cannot, you know, go home, yeah. come to school, mm -hmm. so they reside at school. Yeah. Some of them need two sponsors. Yeah. Or one sponsor can do that. I don't. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna bring Florence up again later in the service to pray for all of you. Uh, but before we do that, let's do an open eyes prayer and just pray for her and for this ministry. And so, Lord, we are thankful for. Uh, our friend and your daughter. Thank you, Lord, for carrying her through the most difficult time of her whole life. Thank you for providing for all of these kids who call her mom and grand, and we are amazed at your goodness and your grace. We ask for your provision for this ministry in leadership, in strength, in spiritual gifts, in finances, in prayer, in partnerships, uh, in favor over travel and all kinds of details, Lord, that we don't even know about. Uh, we ask for medical miracles. We ask for uh, uh, food and, 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 and medicine and uh, educational supplies, teachers, administrators. We ask for all that they need, Lord, that you know that she doesn't even know about yet. And we ask, Lord, that the rest of this trip would be a huge blessing to her. Uh, Lord, bring her strength in her soul. Bring her peace in her mind and bring her power in her spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 We'll bring you back in a little bit. Would you thank God for Florence? <laughs>